Hey guys, today's Crafty Friday tutorial is all about mosaics. I'm going to show you a few different mosaic variations in this video, including a traditional route that uses glass tiles and grout. That rhymed. A way to decorate anything that you want without actually cutting your pieces. The affordable yet ever so customizable paper mosaic. And last but not least, the CD mosaic that made my hands hurt. If you see something you like, don't forget to click the thumbs up to let me know and subscribe so you can see my videos every single week in your newsfeed. Now without further ado, let's get into the mosaic video. The first type of mosaic I'm going to show you is this traditional one. So I'm going to take some glass tiles and break them into smaller pieces so they are different shapes and not all squares. I'm sticking the tiles between some cardboard and paper towels and I soon found out that it's a better idea to have them on a single layer instead of stacking them like this when you're trying to hammer them and break them apart. Here I am wearing a glove because they are glass and they could cut you. From my experience they weren't very sharp but you can definitely get a sharp piece so it's always better to be safe. Pick out the pieces that are broken to your liking and put them aside and you can keep breaking the other ones apart. Here I have them spread out like I said so now I'm just hammering away again. And another tip I have for you guys, if you don't want to spend money on a container full of glass tiles, you could get... I guess dishes from the dollar store and break those apart. After I'm done hammering, since I'm doing this inside, I definitely want to clean up the shattered glass that might be around. So I'm taking a sticky part of a lint sheet, and excuse the lint because this is already used, and I'm just going to dab up the little tiny pieces. You could also vacuum if you want to do that. Here are all my little tiny pieces, but before we move on, I want to show you the other way that you can break glass tiles. So here you can get a tile nipper, and it's a good idea to wear gloves and even goggles for this so the glass doesn't fly at you, but if you do use a shoebox with a lid, of course, then you would just break it in there with the lid down, and then it probably won't come out, but just be careful. Now you're going to arrange all the little glass pieces onto a surface of your choice. I'm using a wooden square that's about the size of a coaster and also some really strong glue. I'm using mosaic adhesive, so I'm just arranging them as I said and you can lay them out first or just go right at it and if you want to use tweezers to help you, that might be a good idea as well. The bottle of glue I'm using recommends that you put glue on the surface as well as on the back of the stone or glass or ceramic tile, whatever you have. Work in small sections. You just want to spread glue over a couple inches of your surface and then glue the stones down one at a time. Once the glue has completely dried, you're going to take mosaic grout to fill in all of the cracks. I got all of my mosaic materials from Michael's Craft Store and my putty knife from Walmart. Here I am just spreading the grout evenly and making sure it gets down into all the cracks. And I'm going to let that dry for about 30 to 45 minutes before going in with a damp sponge to wipe off all the pretty stones. Of course, don't limit yourself to a wooden coaster. You can also decorate other things such as large tabletops if you want to take on an adventurous project. After it dries, if you see any cracks or imperfections, you can definitely go back in with the grout and fix them. And you might want to look into using a grout sealer to make it waterproof. For the second mosaic, we're not using any grout and you won't have to break your tiles because here I have some pre-cut mirror tiles and I'm using a wooden letter to decorate. I at first was going to use a canvas, but then I decided on the letter. So here I am just laying them out 
and I laid them all out before gluing them down so I could figure out which pattern looked the best. And then you just let it dry and there you go, a super simple mosaic project. Mosaic idea number three is the paper mosaic and for this I'm actually using some paint samples that I got from Walmart. So this project is practically free. All you need is a piece of cardstock or construction paper or a canvas if you want and you're just going to glue or mod podge the paper cutouts onto your surface. For mine, I just cut triangles and I attached them to a very small section and I folded it to make it into a greeting card and then I put some sharpie marker designs to spruce it up a little bit. Also you can get very intricate with this. Here is a picture of a paper mosaic frog I created quite a few years back. It took weeks and hours but I really love it and it was worth it. The final mosaic idea I have for you guys is the CD mosaic. It's a great way to recycle old CDs that you might not want or listen to anymore. But I will warn you that this one is quite a pain to make. So cutting the CDs is not only hard on your hands, but depending on the CD brand you get, the foil, shimmery foil, will peel off really easily so you have to be so careful when you're cutting and it's just so difficult to do. I asked for tons of suggestions on Instagram on ways to cut them easier or make the foil not fall off. Some people suggested boiling them which I'm really scared to do and freezing them and using a saw and using an exacto knife so if you have tips for people who want to try this leave them in the comment section below. Probably will not turn out perfect there will be a lot of pieces that have foil missing and the edges are going to be really cracky looking. So it's up to you if you want to try this one. Your hands will not thank you at all the next day. Mine are very sore right now. But anyway, I just wanted to give you the idea and I wanted to finish it. The only thing that I might add, I'm not sure yet, is some black puffy paint to use as grout. So which mosaic project do you like the best? Let me know in the comment section below and if you make your own, whether it be out of paper or buttons, that's another idea, then just share your photo with me on Instagram using hashtag SoCraftastic. Thank you guys so much for watching Crafty Friday here on the So Craftastic channel. If you didn't tune in last week, I created some really cool glue paintings, so you might want to check that out. They make great room decor and they're super fun to do. Also, I ask you guys every week to send in photos of what you create, so here they are, bam, bam, bam. Thank you all for sharing. As always, my links to Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest are in the description box. And I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. I'll see you very soon. Bye. Get him, Leo. <laughs> Look at this. He dipped his paw in my painting. There's a little paw print right there. And then it's on the carpet. And here's where I'm trying to wipe his paw off, but he's not cooperating. <laughs> I don't even know. Social media, social media? Wow. Very random, but when I was a kid, I would like tilt my head in every picture when I'd smile. If I remember, I'll have to show you guys. I would always tilt. I'm like, hey, hi, smile and take a picture with me.